Imagine you're a tiny worm in Minecraft. Not only are you way smaller than the size of a block, but you also only have one heart of HP. How would you survive? Well, for the next 100 days in Minecraft, I'm gonna play as a worm and find out, which normally would be impossible. But luckily for me, my team have added a ton of cool powers to the worm to help it survive this challenge. But uh, there's just one other problem. And that's the fact that these three farmers you see right here are gonna try and prevent my worm from surviving till day 100. And like I said, I only have one one heart of HP, as you can see. So getting away from those three hunters is not gonna be easy. In fact, the second I leave this giant dirt mound, they're gonna start attacking me. But luckily for me, I do have my worm upgrade menu where I can gain more hearts, get crazy attacks like the gummy worm blaster, or even get an ability called delightful dirt that lets me eat dirt infinitely. You get the idea, I get stronger with these powers. Meaning now it's time to leave the dirt mound and just escape these three farmers so we can start upgrading. Now, normally I would try and get an upgrade here, but with only one heart, our main goal should be to get away. So let's get to the edge of this dirt over here. We're going to jump into that water pool, and then our whole goal is to escape. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to jump off in three, two, one. Here we go. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Get that oh, he's moving. Okay. Get him. Let's get to the forest, because inside the forest is where we're going to be smallest, so we can hide under trees and stuff. Get back here, you little crawler. Okay, just go this way, go this way. Are they right behind me? Oh, they are. And if they punch me even once, I'm dead. Okay, this way. Quick, go up here. I see him. Get him. We can lose him in one block high gap. That's our only chance here. So let's find a hidden one block high gap that we can use, like this right here. Let's get this log, and then we can start getting some wood. So give us some basic tools. He's around here somewhere. Oh, their names are everywhere. I gotta be super careful. Oh, wait. I, I heard a I heard a block break, I thought. Okay, I'm gonna get a second log. They're all around me. I have to be super careful here. Okay, I grab the second oh, one. Oh, wait, dude. There's definitely breaking over here. He's right here. Oh, they got me. Quick, under this one. No. Break this block. Break this block. There we go. Where is he? Where is he? He's he's under the trees. Under the trees. Oh, run. Ow. Oh, go. Oh. Go, 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 go. Oh, run, little worm. Run. We need to find another one high gap. Another one here. Right here, right here. Get him. Right get another log. We just need one more log. Come on. Yes, there's four. He's, oh, the go, the go, he's, he's, he's over here. By the water. Okay, I'm out of spray. Bro, we're gonna get you. I heard one of them say they're out of sprint. Okay, here we go. Go around here and oh, he saw me go in the water. Dang it, I thought I would lose him if I just quickly went in the water. He's on me. Oh, a drowned! Get him drowned! I did not expect the drowned to appear there. Oh, god. Okay, quick, get over here. There's gotta be somewhere I can lose them over here. Oh, actually, there 100% is. Go over here, go over this way, go over this way. Okay, I see one of them over there. Does he see me though? Is the question. Oh, he does. He does. That did not work at all. Okay, we just need to get back to a foresty area. Otherwise, we're not gonna lose them. Oh, there's some huge mountains up ahead. Let's get into this biome. This gave me an idea. I can definitely escape them up ahead. Oh, yeah, they're right behind us. They're right behind us. Okay. Okay, let's cut left. Let's cut left to the forest. We're not gonna have time to climb that mountain. As much as I want to climb the mountain, we're not gonna have time for it. This is gonna be our best bet for sure. Back to the forest. Swim down here. Oh, he he's going to the forest. I see him. Nope, they see us. They see us. He's right on me. I have an idea though. We're a worm. We can go underground, right? That's kind of what worms do. Let's just find a tiny area and let's start digging a hole. We need to find a good tree for this. Right here looks like a good tree. Go around here. Oh, this is perfect. Gone. Okay. Come on, guys. He's in this forest somewhere. I can kind of see through the wall here. Oh, yeah. I see him over there. Just stay right here. He went somewhere this way. Okay. That's one nameplate. There's one nameplate right there. I don't see a third nameplate yet. I only see two. Where'd he go? Okay. Two of them have walked past. So I just need that third one. I see. I see the third one. I see the third one. This third one's heading towards the second one. Good. That's good for us. That's really good for us. You guys see him? I, I don't see him. I think this is our chance to ditch them. I think we're gone here. Let's go. Just get in the water. Back to that mountain. And we're gone. Let's go. It worked. Hiding under the ground as a worm actually worked. And now our whole goal is just to get out of here and start building our first worm base. Because otherwise, we're literally going to die so fast when the sun goes down and mobs come out. Because like I've said, I'm a worm with one heart. I literally can't survive anything right now. We have a base to start building. After escaping by hiding under a tree, I began to work on my first worm base. But I'm not going to lie. The base was far from perfect. But that really doesn't matter for right now, seeing as I still have one heart and could die any second. So we need to get some worm upgrades. Fast. Okay, so our first worm base is done. And we can find it actually literally right here behind me through this little patch of water. So if we swim down here, you're going to see that there's this little hole over here that we can go into, and that leads us to our base. And that's not the only way into this base. We actually have another entrance right here that leads to a village. So we're basically a worm that lives underneath a village underground, which is pretty fitting for a worm, I think. But now that we're actually inside the base, it's pretty simple with just some basic survival gear. So yeah, that's really it. Now, we obviously haven't even gotten a chance to start on getting anything worm related. So let's start by unlocking our dirt bombs. Now, dirt bombs are actually pretty cool. It's basically a block of dirt that's going to explode like a bomb whenever the hunters get near it. And now all we have to do is unlock it. And all we need to do that is light three TNT, share a snow golem, and kill one player. And by player, they mean the farmers. So let's start by making and lighting three TNT. Now TNT can be pretty easily made with just some sand and some gunpowder. So let's just go and let's grab some sand from this beach right here, where we're going to need 12 total sand. There we go. There's 12 sand. And now we just need to get ourselves 15 gunpowder, which that is not too easy because we're literally a worm with one HP. So that means any creeper that blows up is definitely going to kill us. But alas, we must try. Okay. There's like a ton of creepers up ahead here. I got to be super careful because like I said, I only have that one heart, which is really bugging me. Okay. He's dead. Okay, we got a creeper right here. 
Nice, we got one down. And no gunpowder, great. Okay, there we go. We now have 16 gunpowder that we need. And to actually complete this quest, I have to light off this three TNT. So let's go ahead and let's grab our iron ingots. And I'll just break some of this gravel here until we get some flint. There we go. Now we just combine the flint with some iron ingots and we get ourselves a flint and steel. Now we simply just go outside, just go over to this building over here. Let's put the TNT inside. Sorry, wow. friend. And let's light it off. Now run, lit up all three. And he's dead. But as we can see, we've lit three out of three TNT. But now it's nighttime, so let's get going back to the base and we'll finish up unlocking our dirt bomb tomorrow. Okay, so now it's day 11 and we still have a couple more things we gotta do. But the first thing on this list being to shear a snow golem. Now luckily it's easy to make shears. You just take two iron ingots like that and you get shears. And now we just have to make ourselves a snow golem. Let's start by going out into this field over here and let's quickly look for some pumpkins. There's almost always pumpkins in these fields. See, I told you there's literally pumpkins right here. Now we put down a pumpkin and we shear it and then take it back. And now we just have to go get ourselves some snow so we can make a snowman. Okay. Okay, there's literally snow everywhere around us now. So now we just have to go ahead and dig up this snow, which uh, we just do this. Take these snowballs, turn them into snow blocks. And now we can build ourselves a snow golem by putting two snow blocks like this and putting a carved pumpkin on top. Now we get a snow golem, which we just have to shear. And by the way, I didn't even know we could do this. I only learned recently that you could shear snow golems simply by right clicking them with a pair of shears. Watch this. And now we get our jack-o'-lantern back and a snowman without a pumpkin on its head. The more you know. But anyway, with that done, that's the second quest complete. And now all we got to do now is kill a player, which uh, means searching for the players and finding them. So let's go back out into the ocean and let's look for the farmer's base. So I went to spawn to see if the farmer set up a base anywhere near there. And it turned out they didn't. So I just kept looking around the world in areas I thought I would find them. And I finally did on day 14. Okay, hello. I'm cutting in because I realized I stopped recording. But I've been searching around for the players and I saw one of their nameplates somewhere in this cave, or I'm pretty sure I did. Let's go back out real quick. Let me show you where I saw the names. Let's see if we can see it again. I'm positive I saw a nameplate though. No, I do. I see one right there under the ground right here. <gasps> There's one right there. Where'd she just come out of? We do need a lot more wood. I've been using so much on the, on the base. There must be a hole in the ground. She's alone. I could get this kill now. We can get the solo kill now. Oh. Oh, just a bit. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, guys, I'm getting attacked by the worm. What? Come on, we gotta get her. No, don't let her heal. Don't let her heal. Yes, she's dead. No, we're <laughs> We got the kill. Okay, quick. Combat. Unlock the dirt bomb. We now have a dirt bomb. Let's put it at the entrance. The others should come up. Run! Oh, they're right there. They're right there. I exploded. Why did I explode? Wait, what? Oh, it blew up. It blew up. It blew up. Okay, we need to get out of here. We got the kill and we have the dirt bomb. Let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just go. We won't even worry about their base for right now. Oh, God. They're coming. They're coming. They're coming. Let's just get up this hill. Once we're up this hill, we'll be okay. Are they coming up this way? They are. Okay. There's only one block to get up there with the dirt. We take no fall damage, actually. Hold on. They can't do that. We should just jump. We can lose them. We can lose them. Just in case. Put that down for sound to see if they're behind us. If I don't hear that go off, we're going to be safe. We're just going to keep going. Okay, I haven't heard the bomb go off. I think leaping off the mountain, we lost them. So I'm going to go home with our new dirt bomb in hand. Okay, so now we've unlocked dirt bomb, the literal dirt looking bomb that I can put on the ground. I can literally defend my entire base with these bombs. Since my base is underground over here and these bombs only go off if the farmers get near, I can literally use these as a farmer only defense. So first things first, we are going to put tons of bombs scattered near our base. So if the hunters get near, we're going to know immediately because we'll hear the explosion. Okay, perfect. With the bombs inside our base, they're not getting in. And just for safety measure, we're going to put one at the bottom of our stairs just to make sure. But now that that's ready, it's time for us to get more hearts. Because I'm sick of having only one heart and being squishy. Because literally one hit from the farmers and I would be dead right now. So let's change that. If I go into my evolution upgrade, you're going to see that the next worm I can become is a gummy worm. Yes, like the snack. And when I become a gummy worm, I actually get 10 full hearts of HP. So let's actually become a gummy worm. We just need 8 golden carrots, 16 dried kelp, and 1 flower banner pattern. So let's start by making ourselves some golden carrots because luckily we already live in a village where we can actually get some carrots and we haven't loaded these farms yet to keep this place looking natural but if it means getting a carrot i'm gonna do it there we go 10 carrots that's enough but to actually turn a regular carrot into a golden carrot we just have to surround it with some golden nuggets which means we're gonna need eight golden ingots now i'm pretty sure we only have like one or two yeah we have four so uh let's throw those in the smelter real quick and get those four raw gold smelted and now let's go down to the mine shaft and go grab four more raw gold Okay, there we go. We got nine raw gold. Let's grab the four ingots that are already done and throw the rest of the nine. And now we can take eight gold ingots, get a bunch of golden nuggets, surround those with a carrot in the center, and we get a bunch of golden carrots, which is the first thing we needed to become a gummy worm. And now we're done. Nah, we still got to get 16 dried kelp and a flower banner pattern, whatever that is. Okay, so next, let's just work on getting that dried kelp because it's actually super easy to get. Let's just make our way over here to the ocean, hop inside of our boat. And now we're going to start looking for some kelp that we can take from the seafloor. Okay, all this should do, we're just going to destroy it now with shears and it should drop a bunch of kelp. 
Now we're gonna swim up to the surface and just gather up all this kelp. We just need to get 144, which is like three stacks. Oh, that's more than enough. Okay, perfect. Now let's take this kelp back home real quick. And now once again, we're gonna smelt all of this kelp. And now we play the waiting game. Okay, well, we wait for that to finish smelting. There's one other quest we can work on, which is getting a flower banner pattern. And to actually do that, all we need is paper and an oxidaisy. I actually think I have an oxidaisy. I literally do. I have an oxidaisy. So now we just need paper, which we can get right over here. So let's just grab some of this, make ourselves some paper. And now if we take one paper and our one oxidaisy, we get ourselves a banner pattern flower charge. That's exactly what it's looking for. So now we just need to wait for this kelp to finish. This is going to take all day. All day. <laughs> Okay, it's done. And now we can take this dried kelp and we put it in a three by three, just like this. Yes, we're done. We can do it. We can become a gummy worm. Look, we have 10 full hearts of HP. Oh my God, and we actually look like a gummy worm. Look, this is me, a gummy worm. And this is a picture of a real gummy worm in real life. I was born for this moment. I can also see on top of that, I seem to be jumping higher, running faster. And I know I hit harder as well. So this gummy worm is actually awesome. Though it is making me hungry. So let me know in the comments below what your favorite color gummy worm is. Anyway, without further ado, there's only one more tier upgrade to go. And that's the delightful dirt upgrade. Basically, it's a plate of dirt I can eat infinitely. But as you can see, I really don't need that much. I just need 32 bone meal, an explorer's map, and a pumpkin pie, all of which we'll get tomorrow. Okay, I realized that my footage corrupted at some point. You didn't really miss much, though. All I really did was make myself a diamond pickaxe and come down here to come get some obsidian. We're getting obsidian to go to the nether, because once we're in the nether, we can go ahead and get some easy bone meal. So let's get mining this obsidian, and you'll understand my plan in a second. Okay, there we go. We have 10 obsidian, enough to make a nether portal. So let's go up to the base and get this thing set up. Which, honestly, we're just going to put it right here in the wall. Now we take our flint and steel and light this thing off. And boom, we got a nether portal. So now let's just go in and get some easy bone meal. Okay, now bone meal shouldn't be too hard to get in the nether. It's actually pretty common. Okay, there's another fortress over that way. Okay, there is a way down here. So let's just start digging our way down. Okay, now let's just go see if we can find some bones. Okay, perfect. Here's the biome right in front of me. You can see a bunch of soul sand and a bunch of big bones, which is exactly what we need. So now we're just going to break these bone blocks, and each one is going to give us a ton of bone meal. Watch. If I put these in here, we get bone meal. We already have 45 bone meal, which is more than what we needed. So just like that, we can go back to our nether portal with our first quest complete. Okay, now there's only two more things we got to do, and that's get an explorer's map or pumpkin pie. Now, for those that don't know, there's actually two kinds of explorer maps that exist. A woodland mansion explorer map, and an ocean explorer map. And both of them require the exact same items to get, so we're gonna gather those items up now. With the first of that being a bunch of this stuff right here, sugar cane. Okay, there we go. We have two stacks of sugar cane, which is all we need. And now we just need to get ourselves a bunch of sand, which, yeah, that's gonna be really hard to find. Let's just grab all this sand that we can real quick. I think all we need is about a stack. And there we go, a stack of sand. So now we just take this sand and we put it inside of the furnaces right here. So we wait for that to finish melting. Let's turn all of the sugar cane into paper really fast. Perfect, now let's just grab all the glass, turn it all into glass panes. Now we have everything we need to actually do this trade. Okay, here we go. Here's a bunch of villagers in the town square. I'm gonna put this cartography table here, but I'm just gonna go ahead and remove some jobs to get it to activate. Yes, okay, cool. This guy did it. Okay, we got the cartographer officially set up. Now we just trade him a bunch of paper for emeralds. Now we should get another trade for glass panes, which will get us some more emeralds. And now he'll trade us an ocean explorer map. Map, or if we wait for him to level up, you'll see he now has the Woodland Explorer map, which is exactly the one I want to do. Now, I got the Woodland Explorer map, and it will lead me right to a Woodland Mansion. Now, as you see, this quest is complete, but I feel like it would be such a waste to do all of that and not go to the Woodland Mansion. So, let's start going this way, and let's find this Woodland Mansion. On day 19, I simply kept following the map, because uh, the Woodland Mansion was actually super far away. Oh, the map's generating. Yes, we're here. Oh, finally, we're getting close. Okay, perfect. We're literally here. We can get to this thing. Okay, literally right in front of us. It's huge. Okay, so first things first. We want to look for the dudes that are going to drop the totems ASAP. It's going to be careful looking around here. I didn't see a single pillager upstairs. Let's check down here. Is this woodland mansion empty? No way. I just wasted all this time. Guess we'll check the bottom floor. What is going on? Oh, no, there's mobs. There's definitely mobs. There's a skeleton right here. Wait, then where the heck? Where the heck are all the pillagers? Wait, what? What is happening? That was a waste of time. There's literally nothing spawning in this woodland mansion. Instead of going home with totems of undying, I I'm going home with nothing. Whatever. Uh, let's just go home. I'm beyond annoyed. Okay, so the woodland mansion may have been a dud, but at least we have the explorer map so we can keep working on our delightful dirt upgrade. And now we just have to go ahead and get a pumpkin pie. But first things first, let's just head back to the base first and then we'll work on the upgrades in just a second. So let's just... TT, TT, TT. Oh! Oh, we got him! They're in the base. Hold on. Or something's in the base. I see names. I see names. Dirt bombs, dirt bombs, dirt bombs. Oh, they fell. They fell. They fell. Oh, gosh! Okay, one just blew up to the dirt bomb. Nice. They can't come up behind me. I put a dirt bomb there. Nice. He's done! Oh my god, yes! Oh, we destroyed them with the dirt bombs. Oh, but they destroyed my base. Oh, God. Oh, they came in over there. No wonder they didn't set off my dirt bombs out front. Look at this. 
They literally snuck into my base from a hole in the ceiling, so that way they wouldn't get blown up. Well played, farmers. But I'm not gonna let that happen again. So let's grab what little stuff survived inside of our chest, and then let's get out of here and build a base that hopefully won't be blown up this time. So after my base was blown up, I had to focus on getting a new one built super quick because we still have tons of upgrades to go, and we already lost a base. Which, by the way, many of you in the comments don't seem to think that losing bases is a big deal, but that's where I keep all of my items. So when they blow up a base like that, it's like starting all over over again. Okay, and welcome to the brand new worm base. No, the base is not actually in the village over there. It's actually right behind me in this little farm. Now let's make our way down here to the base. Let's just go down here, jump in the water, and then if we go up here, you're gonna see a ladder that we can jump into, and if we follow this all the way to the bottom, we're at the base. Okay, so here we go. Here's the base right here, where you see we have the most basic survival setup ever. But for a quick tour, we have our chest down here, our furnace is another portal right by the entrance, an infinite lava source right here, our cave right back here, and then my bed's down this way. And there you go. That's your very brief rundown of the base. But now we have way more important things to start working on. You know, like finishing delightful dirt. Now we already collected the bone meal and the map that we need for this quest. So the last thing we need is a pumpkin pie, which can literally be made with a pumpkin, some sugar, and an egg. So uh, let's go do that. First, let's go ahead and grab a pumpkin. Now let's go grab some sugar cane. And last but not least is an egg. We basically just have to find a group of chickens and hope they lay one. Oh, we got more chickens. An egg, an egg, an egg, an egg. I saw one right here. And if we simply take our pumpkin, egg, and sugar, we'll get ourselves the pumpkin pie. Which means we can finally unlock delightful dirt. And now I have a piece of dirt I can eat anywhere. See, I can eat it right now, and you're gonna see what's gonna happen. Not only does my hunger go back to full, but I also get regeneration for two minutes, haste for two minutes, and fire resistance for two minutes. Meaning with this dirt, I can now swim in lava and do tons of other crazy things with my bases. Okay, so now that we finished up getting that pumpkin pie, we can move on to our next ability, which is actually gonna be another utility ability called Earth Shield. Because I'm not gonna lie, I only have 10 hearts of HP, so I can still die super easy. So getting a shield that can protect me from damage is kind of important. And you're gonna notice there's also some quests in the upper left-hand corner of my screen, and that's only there because I accidentally activated our combat quest gummy worm blaster, but we're gonna work on that a bit later. Let's just actually work on unlocking the earth shield ability first. Since all we really need to unlock that is 16 obsidian, an enchanted diamond hoe, and 10 lightning rods. So since I need an enchanting table, let's go make one. So first things first in making an enchanting table, we're definitely going to need to get a bunch of obsidian. Because for those that don't know, you can make one with just four obsidian, two diamonds, and a book. So let's go down to the mine shaft real quick now and let's make ourselves some obsidian. Okay, so let's just put some water down right here and that's gonna make ourselves some obsidian. Let's just start mining up this obsidian. Okay, there we go. That's four obsidian. So now we just need to go through the rest of the cave and look for two diamonds. Oh, and we need to actually go get those diamonds to finish up this enchanting table. So let's just look for two diamond ore. Diamonds, I found some. There's one. And now we should need one more. Okay, found a second one. And now last but not least, we need a book. Let's just quickly look through these houses and actually check if there's any with bookshelves. Okay, there's a chest. That doesn't have a bookshelf in it. This one doesn't have a bookshelf in it. And this one also doesn't have a bookshelf in it. I'm starting to think this village doesn't have any bookshelves, period. Oh God, and the sun's starting to set. Okay, fine. Let's go do it the old fashioned way. We're gonna go kill a cow and make one. Yes, I found some cows. Yes. Okay, let's just kill these cows. There we go. We got a leather. And now we just need to get three paper. Let's go grab this sugar cane that's right up in front of us. And mine. So let's turn the sugar cane into a bunch of paper like so. Take the paper, put it like this. Put a leather in the corner. Then we take the book, put it on top, put the two diamonds in the corner, and take the four obsidian like this. And then we get an enchanting table. Boom. We got the enchanting table now, which uh, the only reason we need that is to enchant the diamond toe, which means now I have to make one of those, meaning I need two more diamonds. Oh. Okay, so we're going back down to the cave to get two diamonds. Okay, here we go. Here's one and two. Okay, so now let's just make ourselves a diamond hoe. Now let's grab our lapis from our chest and go over to our enchanting table so we can enchant this hoe with any enchantment, like efficiency one, meaning we've officially finished the first quest for Earth Shield, making an enchanted diamond hoe. And luckily, the other two things we need are actually super easy. It's just obsidian and lightning rods. So let's go back down to the caves real quick and let's mine up a bunch of obsidian, and then we'll go mine up a bunch of copper to make 10 lightning rods. Well, I guess there's copper right here. Hold up, let me just mine this. 43. We're already done with the copper. Okay, well, now we just need obsidian. So uh, let's go down to the caves and let's go get some. Okay, here's a fresh pool of lava. We'll just put this here real quick. And now let's just mine up this obsidian. Okay, there we go. That's 16 total obsidian that we've mined now. Meaning all we need left is 10 lightning rods. So we just gotta go smelt up that copper and make them. Okay, so let's just put the copper in a four and throw some of it in there. And now we're just gonna wait for that to smelt real quick. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna grab all of the copper ingots, head over to our crafting table and make a bunch of lightning rods. Let's unlock earth shield and boom, we now have it. Okay, I just did it. Oh my God. Whoa, it literally surrounded me with a bunch of dirt and stuff. You can see when I'm in F1, I literally am just surrounded by dirt in the dirt shield. But if I'm in F5, I can actually see where I'm going in this giant 
giant dirt pile. Now, this pile of dirt has a lot of HP. And then you'll see after a little while, the shield goes away. So yeah, shields are definitely helpful when we're squishy like we are right now. Okay, and now that we're done with that, it's time to move on to our next upgrade, the Gummy Worm Blaster. You know, the stuff that I already have quests for in the upper left. It's time to work on that. So let's just go to sleep, and tomorrow we'll start working on it. Are you kidding me? Wait, are they actually here? I definitely just saw a name. <gasps> yes, I see one. Look at it. In the village, right there. Let's go this way. I have an idea. Let's make them think we're coming from the desert. And that way, they'll instantly run to the desert thinking that's where my base is. I just need to get them away from my base. Because we literally just built this thing, and I don't want to lose it. Oh, dude, there's a gummy worm right here. Gummy worm, gummy worm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. oh he sees me. He sees me. Okay, good. They saw me. Let's go. Let's go. Let's chase begin. He saw me coming from the dirt. There we go. Now we go down here. How many of them are on us? Just one, just one. Oh, yeah, they're all coming. They're all coming. Okay, this is huge. We got to get them away from the base over this way. Bomb. Come on. Yes. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, they're coming. They're coming. We got to lose them in here. Let's go into this mangrove. They're going to think my base is in here now. Oh, yes. Don't worry, bro. We got you. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yes, it worked. Oh, we got him with the bomb trick. Oh, it didn't get him. It didn't get him. Oh, there he is. I'm right behind him. Oh, oh one blow up. Yes. Oh, Janet just blew him up. Oh, my God. Thank you, Janet. Okay, there we go. She's dead. She literally blew her own teammate up there. Instant replay. So before they figure out where my base actually is, let's go home and let's just hang out there for a bit. Okay, well, I was not expecting to be attacked there. Otherwise, honestly, I could have used my dirt bomb and just blown him up with that and finished a quest that's on my screen, but I didn't think about it in the chaos. We still have to get those kills on the players and still do the two other quests. So let's start with the easiest one, which is simply creating a block of mud using a water bottle. So let's quickly go into the chest. Let's grab some sand. And now let's just go over to our smelter real quick and let it start smelting. Okay, there we go. There's two glass there. There's one glass there now we can go over here to our crafting table craft this thing together fill it up with some water and now we just have to create a mud block which uh i don't exactly know what to do but i'm guessing it has something to do with just taking some dirt and clicking it with the water bottle yeah oh that was literally it boom i created a block of mud i'm gonna name him muddy okay and now that we're done with that it's now time to shoot a firework through a crossbow which means actually making a crossbow which we can do with all this stuff here so let's start by making that trip wire hook which is just an iron ingot a stick and some wood okay so let's just go and let's take a wooden plank let's take a stick and let's take an iron ingot to get ourselves a couple trip wire hooks and now we literally just need some string, but I don't have any string. So let's just quickly go down and grab a couple string down in the mine shaft. Okay, so let's just grab these cobwebs, which will give us some string. There we go, that should do. Now let's just go ahead and click the crossbow, click this little plus button, and then we can craft the crossbow in seconds. And now for the hard part, shooting out a firework rocket, because we have to actually make a firework rocket. And it might seem easy, like you just need paper and gunpowder, and that will technically make a firework rocket, but it's not going to explode in any of the pretty colors that fireworks are supposed to explode in. And I want to make a proper firework. So to do that, we need to make this thing called a firework star. Okay, so to actually make that, we're going to need a few things. We're gonna need some dye, which uh, we have some lapis to make some blue dye. So there we go. That's done. Then we need a gunpowder. So let's get that next by quickly just killing a creeper for some. And we got some gunpowder. Now we just combine together that blue dye with that gunpowder and we should get a firework start. And then we simply combine that with some gunpowder, some paper and the firework start to get the small blue explosion with a firework rocket. Okay, so I have the fireworks in the offhand, the crossbow in the main hand. And if I load it, I should put the firework inside of this. I did. And now it should create a small blue explosion on the wall. Okay, perfect. And just like that, we've shot a firework rocket from a crossbow. So the next thing we have to do is actually kill players. We have to kill two players with the same dirt bomb. Let's take our crossbow and let's start heading to the farmer's base to get two kills with our dirt bomb. Okay, the farmer's base is just down here. It's literally right in that hole right there. Now, I decided to bring a few extra fireworks with me so I could shoot them with the crossbow. But our main goal here is just to get the two dirt bomb kills we need on one player. Let's make some noise with this crossbow. And when we get them, we're going to want to get them with the dirt mines. So let's place a dirt mine. I think this is a good place for one right there. Just in case they get past it, we'll place one up here. Okay, here we go. Let's get their attention now watch i missed uh <laughs> Whoa. wait hey there's a worm on our thing i missed completely okay here they come oh do not fall off that would be so bad oh they're coming quick get back here oh god i can place another one i can place another one on them ready watch this oh they're coming they're coming they're coming ready and yes oh we got three of them we can still get them we can still get them oh god <laughs> What? I killed all three of them with one bomb. Okay, this is a good chance to find their beds. They're coming from over there. That means their beds are back there. Okay, and I'm gonna go down there, but watch this. I'm gonna make it seem like I'm blocking them off. And then me, myself, I'm gonna go this way. Here we go, ready? There we go, he's done. Nice, he died of fall damage. Good. Now we just need to get inside the base and bomb them. We can use our gummy worm blaster to get out of here. Watch this. Let's go in here. Go down. Oh, I don't fit. I don't fit. Ooh! We can still place something in there. We can still place something in there. Ready? And bonk. That should destroy all their beds. I'm gonna lead him to the nether. I can't. I can't block myself in. Ooh, we're in. We can teleport. Yes, we're teleported. Nice. Okay, they're blocked in. We can kill them for a second already. Okay, they're getting out. Hey, yo! Oh, gosh! He's done. One more. Nice, he's gone. Let's go back through. Okay, their bed should be blown up. Oh, my God. He got... He killed me. Oh, no. He, he blocked it. He blew up our beds! Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I still see them in there. I still see them in there. Gotta be careful here. We're getting close. Nice. Yep, their beds are gone. The whole room's destroyed. Let's go. And that means when they died, they didn't respawn. That's huge. This base is now done for. And wait a minute. I now can unlock the gummy worm blaster, our new weapon that lets us summon gummy worms.
Come on, my army of gummy worms. Let's get out of here. Okay, so we have the gummy worm blaster. Like, literally, I can shoot all gummy worms into the world, and they're gonna attack anything nearby. I mean, look at these guys. They're so cute. But either way, I'm a gummy worm amongst amongst of other gummy worms now, which honestly is helpful because it means I can blend in amongst the gummy worms. So this isn't gonna last long because the next upgrade we're gonna work on is the toxic tunneler so we can get some more heart and some more strength. And if you look extra closely at that, you're gonna notice it says plus three reach, meaning I'll be able to reach blocks that I normally wouldn't be able to reach, like that one or even that one. But first things first, we gotta unlock it. And to do that, we just need eight potions, 32 fireworks stars, and two enchanted golden apples. So first things first on that list, we're gonna make our way to an ancient city because ancient cities is where you find golden apples. And we're gonna need two of those. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. So I went looking under large hills to see if I could find an ancient city. And after only a couple days of searching, I found one. Ancient city, ancient city, we found one. Booyah. And now we just have to find two enchanted golden apples. And I guarantee you this chest has one. Okay, it doesn't. Okay, anyway, as I was saying, let's go ahead and let's keep checking these chests because we have to find an enchanted... That's setting it off. That's enough. Just check it. Oh my God, tons of XP bottles, but nothing else good. And now I can't see anything. Oh God. That's gonna summon a warden. Oh God. Okay, we're still good. We're still good, but no golden apples in sight yet. Yes, we got one. We got our first one. Enchanted golden apple. There we go. Okay, we just need one more enchanted golden apple and we are out of here. Oh my God, second one. Literally right here. Next chest we checked, it has one. Oh, that's huge. There we go. Two enchanted golden apples. In fact, now that we have the two enchanted golden apples, I'm getting out of here. Anywho, now that we have those gapples done with, all we need to do is make some potions and fireworks stars. So let's start by going to the nether and let's grab a bunch of stuff to make potions. Now, luckily for us, our portal leads us right into a nether fortress. But here's the thing. We actually really just need a bunch of nether warts like these guys so that means we just need to look for blazes okay we found some blazes they're right up here Okay, and there we go, four blaze rods. Now let's get out of here and let's head back to the base so we can make ourselves some potions. So let's just go up here and quickly grab that brewing stand outside at the village. Okay, it's in this building right here. Yep, here it is. Here's the brewing stand. So let's put this right next to our nether portal. And now we're gonna take these blaze rods and turn them into blaze powder and throw them inside of our brewing stand as fuel. And now we just need to get three water bottles, stick them in here. And now we just need to make some potions. So let's start by adding some nether warts to this. And that's gonna turn these water bottles into awkward potions. Here we go, here's three awkward potions. Let's see if that's enough to do this quest. There we go. Yep, we officially finished the second quest for toxic tunneler and now i just need 32 firework stars and all you need to make it is a gunpowder and a die so since we need 32 firework stars we're gonna need 32 gunpowder so uh, i'm gonna get started on that today and hopefully finish that by tomorrow on day 41 so let's just go down to the caves and let's start taking on some creepers okay so in total we have 34 gunpowder and now we just have to combine this stuff up with a die to make firework rockets now luckily there's tons of stuff that can be turned into dyes like lapis right here can be turned into four blue dye let's just check out our chests real quick and see what dyes we have in there how much lapis do i have 47 there we go that's all I needed. So if we just make this into 29 blue dye, we get 35. We combine the 35 blue dye with the 35 gunpowder to get 35 firework stars, which I think is what we needed to finish it. It is, it is. We can become the toxic tunneler now, which is exactly what we needed. So let's just go ahead and let's say goodbye to our gummy worm while well, surrounded by a bunch of gummy worms. And let's become the toxic tunneler. Oh, this is crazy. He looks like a mix of like the warden meets a worm. It's like a skulk worm. That's so cool. But anyway, with this upgrade, you're gonna notice we now have 20 total hearts of HP, but I also have now jump boost two strength two and speed two meaning i am much stronger i promise i won't do that to you guys but anyway since we just finished up becoming the toxic tunneler we can now work on our other two tier three upgrades which include subterranean launch which allows our worm to literally launch itself out of the ground and attack players or then there's the worm omni tool which is going to double all ores i mine with a custom worm pickaxe and to unlock subterranean launch you're going to see in the upper left we need to break two mob spawners kill the hunter's hawk with a gummy worm blaster and get the return to sender advancement so let's just go home and tomorrow we'll unlock subterranean launch okay so like i was saying we need to unlock subterranean launch and there's three things we got to do to do that so let's start with the easiest which is just mining up two mob spawners i'm not gonna lie the easiest place to probably do that is the nether let's go back to the nether real quick and just break a blaze spawner and see if that counts okay let's go in the nether portal and now let's go find our blaze spawner and break it okay let's just go in here here's the blaze spawner if we break it that should count as one yep there's one and now let's go look around usually there's more than one i haven't really explored this nether fortress too much but there should be another one somewhere oh i found one. Oh, we're the skeletons there we go. Okay, there we go. Now we'll break this. Boom, broken. And it's two mob spawners broken just like that. If I look at my next quest, I literally have to get returned to sender, which uh, to get returned to sender, I have to be in the nether anyway. So instead, actually, let's just go looking for a gas that we can shoot its fireball back at. Oh, we got him, we got him. Oh, I thought we had this, dude. I've been fighting this gas for like five minutes. I just can't hit him with his own fireball. Please, 
Yes, we got him. We got him. Oh, yes. Okay, there we go. That was perfect. We got return to sender from the gaff. And now we can go home and go take on the farmer's hawk and take it out with our worm blaster. So I went searching for their base and I found it. But there was something really wrong. It's empty. And I waited for a full day once I did find it and still no one showed up. I'm so confused. I'm starting to think this is a fake base. Okay, so I've been at their base now for what feels like a full day and no one's shown up. Meaning this base is one of two things. It's either A, a fake base that they don't live in or B, it's their real base and they're going to be back any minute. The question is though, they're either going to fall from that trap door right there or they could come from the nether portal since their beds are back here. I don't know where they're going to come from, but I also can't tell if this base is real or not. <gasps> wait, 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 they're coming in the nether. Come in the nether right now. Oh, so let's just get their attention. Ready? Oh, he saw me. Oh, I'm so big. He saw me. Quick, go in here. What is that eating? <gasps> oh my God. Up we go. Okay, we're going out. Oh, they're coming. They're coming. They're coming. Let's turn this way. Okay, put down a gummy worm that they have to fight. They killed it already. Okay, I put down a bunch of gummy worms. They're gonna have to fight my gummy worms. Now we have to wait for them to spawn a hawk. Dude, they just give slowness. Okay, he's killing. This could be a chance to get a kill here. Nice, he's done. Ow. Nice, two down, two down. Two down by the gummy worms. Go this way, go this way, go this way. Let the gummy worm get him. There we go. Put a second one down. Oh, he's building a wither. That's it, that's it. Oh my God. Break the block, break the block. Yes, I broke it, I broke it. Nice. Oh, it didn't spawn, let's go. Oh my God, we're gonna get wither materials. Three. I got them all. Oh, it's a hawk, it's a hawk. We killed it, yes, it's gone. Okay, get him, my worms, get him. Put down a bomb. Nice. Oh, wait, what? They just spawned a wither. Oh, God. Okay, he's gone. Get him, my withers. Get him, my worms. Get him. Oh, God, yes. He's targeting them. Yes. Oh, that's a total fail. Oh, God. Oh, the wither got me. Let's now unlock our new ability, subterranean launch. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Get him, gummy worms. Get him, not me. Oh, God. We need to go. We need to get away from that wither. He'll attack us. Put a bomb. Okay, he withered. Is he shooting me? Oh, God. He's shooting at me. Oh, no. Get away. I don't want to fight a wither. Oh, gosh, gosh, gosh. Run. Book it. Oh, they're right behind me. They're right behind me. Go this way. Okay, we unlocked our new ability. So I have subterranean launch, which is if I hit zero. Oh, wait, what is happening? 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 Oh my god! Oh my god, look at this! I just dug underneath the whole world and just attacked Goldie through the world. Oh my god, look at this. This is crazy. This is so OP. And now I have this whole like underground tunnel I can hide in. Oh, this is huge. Let's use subterranean launch again. Here we go, ready? Oh, there's one above me! It was the wither! It was the wither! Whoa! I did not expect the wither to come after me right there. Oh my god. I snuck up under one of them. Okay, let's go this way. Quick, 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 quick. Swim up here. Go this way. And let's get out of here. Oh my god, those abilities are insane! Okay, so that went okay, I guess. But we do have our brand new ability, Subterranean Launch. It's honestly a great ability that can launch anyone in the sky. Now look, here's the thing. I could keep using that ability on them and really mess with them, but that really just wouldn't be fun. And then I also couldn't get all my upgrades anyway, so we're gonna keep upgrading just to make sure we stay one step ahead of the hunters. Now here's the thing. There's only one more tier three upgrade left, which is the Worm Omni Tool. And to unlock the Worm Omni Tool, I just need 16 sugar, eight fire chargers, and one enchanting table. Let's just go back to the base and go to the nether and let's quickly get a fire charge done with. Okay, so let's enter our nether portal and now let's go get a fire charge. Now, right now we're inside of a nether fortress and you ain't gonna find one here. So we need to actually go find a bastion remnant. And inside the bastion, we should be able to actually get a fire charge. Okay, I was heading to a bastion, but I actually just saw some magma slimes up here and we can just kill these guys to get the fire charge. Let's just kill you and see if you've given me. We got a bunch of mini boys. No fire fire charge. Okay, well, there's another magma slime right over here. Yes, magma slime. I saw it. Yes. And I think I only need one, right? Let me double check. Wait, what? That's a magma cream, not a fire charge. Wait a minute. What? That's not what I thought I was getting. Hold on a minute. Let's go back to the nether fortress and grab the blaze rod we're gonna need. Okay, so let's just kill this blaze and get a blaze rod real quick. There we go. Oh, I already had blaze rods on me. Oh, you don't. Get away. Get away. Oh, he dropped the coal. No shot. I already got two of the items done with. Now I just need a gunpowder. Hold on. Let's just go back to our portal real quick. Okay, now let's just go grab a gunpowder from our chest. We'll find that there's absolutely zero gunpowder in our chests. So let's just quickly go down to the mine shaft, kill a creeper, and get its gunpowder. We got the gunpowder. Now we turn this blaze rod into blaze powder, combine that with the gunpowder we just got, alongside the coal we got from the wither skeleton, and now we have three fire charges, which is the actual item I needed for the worm omni tool. Now let's just go grab some sugar. Okay, so next on our list is 16 sugar, which uh, the best place to get 16 sugar is a desert, but this desert doesn't have any sugar cane, which is kind of confusing me. I was a little bit say I don't see any water, and there's some sugar cane right there. See, look, you just gotta complain like a Karen and things will happen. So anyway, let's just go over here and grab some of this sugar cane real quick. How many is that? 25, more than enough. Okay, let's turn all of that into sugar. And just like that, we've finished another quest. So let's just head home real quick, grab the enchanting table we have there, and let's just finish this upgrade. There we go. Let me just eat this from the ground. I can unlock the worm omni tool. Okay, so there's, it looks like there's two pieces to this omni tool. And if I right click it, it goes from a weapon to a miner. Let's try these out. So I know the miner is going to double all ores that I mine. Okay, so as an example, right here is an iron ore. And if I mine this, it'll give me two iron ores. See, I got two raw iron. And if I switch to the weapon, you're going to see that it does 10 full attack damage, which is way better than my 
my iron sword. This thing basically is a one-stop shop for a weapon and a tool, which makes it super overpowered, to be honest with you. Okay, so with this Omni tool now in hand, we can move on to our tier four upgrades, which includes turning into the bullworm from SpongeBob, getting slimy spray, and then an ability called Wiggling Whoosh whatever that is. And of those three, I'm not gonna lie, I really want to unlock Slimy Spray. Because it's honestly really not that hard to unlock. I'm Oh, flying people. Oh, let's attack this worm. Oh, it's the hunters. Go down here, down here, down here. I can't even hit them with my gummy worm. They're just shooting down on me. What do I do? How do I even get them down? Oh, go this way, go this way. Oh, wait, what? What is happening? Their bird is picking me up and taking me away. What is happening? Okay, one of them just died. Put me down. Yes, okay, go this way. Whoa, run. I can lose them this way. Watch this. Okay, we put a shield around us. They can't actually shoot me with this dirt shield on. So let's just keep going this way while they can't shoot me. Now let's jump down here. We're gonna have to go into the base here. Here we go, down here. Oh, he went to his base. Okay, we need to block all this off quick. Do I have any? I have stone. We can block off our chest room and they won't even find it, I bet. There we go. Chest room's hidden. We can save our items. And now we can get out through our secret tunnel. Watch this. Go this way. Get back here. Oh my gosh, this guy, bro. Oh, go down here. Come on, come on up here. Yes, I see the way out. I see the way out. I see the way out. Let's just hope they don't get our items and let's just flee for now. I'm just gonna go start building a base somewhere else for now. So we lost another base. But this time, it wasn't gonna be as big of a deal because my items didn't get blown up this time. So it wasn't a big setback. Meaning I could focus on creating a much safer base this time around. Okay, welcome your faces to the tier three base. I just keep building my bases in villages because I've been enjoying it. And I feel like that's where a worm belongs. You know, fertilizing the land around a village. But anyway, let me just show you the base. So if we go over this way, you're going to see that there's a house that's actually cut into the side of a mountain over here. Right around here. Here we go. And boom, we're here. So it's a little confusing, but the village goes right up to the top of this hill. But at the bottom of the hill, there was actually a singular village house that was down here. And so I figured I might as well cover it up a little bit, add some walls and some dirt and stuff. And then this can be my base. Over here, we have a bunch of glowstone. We got our nether portal. And then the most fun part is when you go inside, you simply just jump down into this hole and you're in the base. Okay, so overall, the base is pretty straightforward. We have our crafting table, all our furnaces, all our chests and items, our lava generator, and then access down here to the mine shaft. Now, if we simply go behind the house that's up top, we just go around behind this glowstone, and we actually have our hidden enchanting table. And now that's the entire base. It's really not that complex, but I really don't need a complex base. So now that this one's done, let's get back to our upgrade menu and finish some of these upgrades. Starting with our first tier four upgrade, which is called Slimy Spray. Now, to unlock this ability, I just have to kill 16 slimes, break 16 sea lanterns, and then kill a player with my subterranean launch ability while in the nether. Now, I don't know if that means that I have to be in the nether while using it, or if the hunter has to be in the nether when they die, but uh, we'll figure that out. Let's start by first breaking a bunch of those sea lanterns, because that's going to be the easiest thing to do. To do that, we just have to quickly go back to the base and grab a few supplies so we can get an underwater monument map. So on screen, you can see all the stuff that we're going to need to actually get this. Okay, so we had to come all the way back to our first base to find this cartographer, so he'll trade us this ocean explorer map. Okay, we need five more emeralds to make this happen. Let's just get the 10 clay balls for one emerald. Then doing the math, we just need to get 50 clay balls to get five emeralds. Okay, let's just break some of the clay right here. How much is that? That's a stack. There we go. That's more than what we needed. Now we just have to go back to our cartographer friend. Okay, there we go. Trade him for a bunch of emeralds. Now we go over here to the cartographer. Trade him for his ocean explorer map. And now we follow this all the way to the ocean monument. So that way we can break some sea lanterns just to do this quest. Okay, I found it. It's right down here. Okay, we got to be careful because these guardians will shoot us. So we're going to get away from them really quick. And then we're going to go back now. And we're going to start building a structure. We'll put a block in each corner. This should give me the ability to separate eye contact from all these guardians. And now our job is simple. Destroy some lanterns. We broke all the sea lanterns. Let's go. Okay, now we just need to get out of here in one piece. Yes, we made it. Hop on the boat and I am out of here. Okay, sorry. Day 60 definitely just corrupted. My whole PC just crashed. Anyway, now that's day 61, our goal is really, really simple. We just have to kill 16 slimes and then kill a player using our subterranean launch while in the nether. I'm going to start by simply killing the 16 slimes. Now, I haven't seen a swamp all game. So let's start looking and hope we find one before nightfall. Wait, wait, wait. Is that a swamp? I was literally just saying I'm not going to find a swamp and a swamp started generating. No way. All we need to find is like one big slime and we'll get all these kills done with. I hear a slime. Is there one below me? Oh, wait, what? When did you get there? What? Okay, well, I'll take you out. Die, slime boys. Three dead. Boom. We're done killing slimes. And now we only have one quest to go till we unlock slimy spray. Okay, anyway, instead of heading home, the last quest we need to do is killing a player with subterranean launch in the nether. So I figure the best thing to do is try to catch the enemies in the nether. So here's the plan. I'm gonna be a sneaky snake and wiggle my way into their base. Then I'm gonna make them notice me sneaking into their nether portal, which should trick them to go into the nether, where I can then get that quest to kill them in the nether. Now we just gotta find the hunter's base. So instead 
instead of immediately going and finding the farmer's base, I decided to make some diamond armor because it's day 60. And I really should have made some by now. Anyway, once that was complete, I went off in search of the hunter's base. I don't see anything on the jungle. Wait, is that a wood plank? Oh, wait, this tree's cut down. Oh. <gasps> People have been cutting trees over here. Let's just follow the broken trees. Okay, there's no broken trees over here, so it must be back over this way. <gasps> wait a minute. There's a red beacon over here. That could 100% be them. Okay, we just need to get a kill on a player using subterranean launch. Okay, two of them are entering the village. This is a good chance. Let them enter the village. Okay, now we're gonna take this chance and go in the water. Okay, let's just go to the nether quick, 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 quick. I'm taking this chance. I'm going to the nether. Check this out. Check this out. What's up? Oh, God, there's a worm behind us. What? Oh, God. I put down some gummy worms. They got to fight. Whoop. Knock her down. Quick. This way. Nether portal. Let's go here. Let's go here first. Now we just need to get a kill in the nether with subterranean launch. It will be fine. Okay, let's go this way. Whoop. Gotta go. And here we go. Ready? Get ready for subterranean launch. Zero. Bonk. Okay, there we go. Go up here. We're gonna have to subterranean launch him again. That didn't kill any of them. So let's just go down. I got grabbed by the hawk. Oh, no. This is not good. Drop me, bird. Oh, no. Don't drop me there. I can shift glitch it out. I can shift glitch the hawk out. Yes. I got an idea. We're gonna fight her. Go once, twice, zero her. Done. Oh. Got me. Yes, we got the kill. Now we should unlock the new ability. It does uh, that. Now we should actually get up there and kill them. Oh, what? There's one on me. One's on me. One's on me. Let's just subterranean launch him. There we go. He's done. Go up here. Quick, quick, quick. Let's go to, through this nether portal. Now let's just block them in. There we go. That should block them in. For oh, one's right there. Okay, she's blocking. She's blocking. Go down here. Go down here. Go down here. Okay, let's try this acid spray out. Here we go. Killed her. Oh! What is that? That's broken. Oh, God. They're coming in with a bird. We got to get out of here. Those birds are so annoying. Let's get it. Let's see if we can shoot it. He's dropping, he's dropping. Oh god, no, I messed up my water bucket. He fell, he missed the water bucket. That's huge. Don't you dare pick me up. Yes, okay, we killed it. Nice. Now let's go this way. Oh, okay. We're definitely gone. We're definitely safe. There's no one chasing me. We're fine. Let's just get out of here now. Okay, it's day 66, and we got slimy spray. Which I'm not gonna lie, I do think that my poison puke name was a better name for it. Because that's basically what I'm doing. Look, look at this creeper here. I'm about to poison puke all over this guy. Yeah, I get poisoned. See, I poison puked all over him, and now he's dead. But with poison puke unlocked, it's time to unlock everybody's favorite worm. The bullworm from Spongebob. There's only a few items I need to do it too. I need eight bottles of enchanting, one totem of undying, and one enchanted trident. And if you know anything about Minecraft, all those items are really a pain in the neck to get. So let's start by looking for an ancient city to get some XP bottles. Wait, is that... Oh, it is an ancient city. This is the craziest ancient city. Look at this. It's like surrounded by lava and giant spikes and all sorts of stuff. But we should be able to get enough XP bottles in here. We just got to start looking through all the chests like usual. Oh, I just set off a shrieker. No XP bottles. Darn it. Move on. Leave. Oh, there we go. There's four XP bottles. Now, how many do we need? It looks like we're going to need eight. So that's half of what we need right there. Okay, let's keep checking out these chests. Check this one out. Three more. No way. Three? That's so annoying. We just need one more to finish the quest. All right, let's check this chest. <gasps> there it is. Two more. We officially have all the XP bottles we need, which is our first quest done. And what's crazy? is those are the easy items because now we need to get a totem of undying and an enchanted trident both of which are really difficult to do so let's start with the totem of undying now i tried to get one earlier in the video if you remember but i kind of ended up in a woodland mansion that was empty so let's quickly start by trading for a fresh map because if we trade with the same guy we did before we'll end up at the same woodland mansion we were at before so let's start by gathering up a bunch of sugar cane from along this coast inside of this desert Okay, there we go. That's all the sugar cane we're gonna need. So now we just need to grab a bunch of sand. So let's just use the miner and just, you know, tunnel through the ground and just grab sand. So literally within seconds, we have the stack of sand we need. And everything else we need, we can find at home. Including 16 emeralds, some books, some extra paper that I have lying around, and some extra glass I have lying around. Oh, and some extra glass panes. And now we have everything we need to go to another woodland mansion. All we need to do is make a cartographer, which, uh, I don't see any villagers available. So what I'm gonna do is actually put this table, break this guy's job, and quickly put this down. And he should take it. Yes, there we go. And now we'll trade him all the paper for some extra emeralds just to make sure we have enough. He levels up. Where now we can trade him glass panes for even more emeralds. Where he levels up again. And now we can trade him for another woodland explorer map. Which this time hopefully has pillagers and stuff in it. So for this we need to head northeast to actually get there. So let's just keep heading in this line. So the map starts to generate. Okay so apparently the woodland mansion is somewhere around here. Oh it's right there. There it is. Now let's go to the woodland mansion. And let's hopefully get a totem of undying. Okay let's just eat some food and then break in this window here. And let's kill an illusioner so we can get his totems. I see one. Let's go in there. Let's get that illusioner. Ready? Whoa. Yes got him. Now let's just get another so we can live longer. Oh, that's huge. Here he is right here. Boom, another, another one. Is there another one in here? Oh my God, there is four rooms next to each other in a row. What is happening? Let's head on out and let's leave. That was super easy. Okay, now we just need an enchanted trident. And I'm not gonna lie, this part's really difficult because to get an enchanted trident, we just need to grind a bunch of drowned. And this gets pretty boring because the odds to get one is less than 1%. And now I'm gonna go kill a bunch of drowned and do it. 
Okay, so now that we have the trident in hand, we just have to enchant this thing. So let's throw it inside our enchanting table, throw some lapis in, give it a basic enchantment, and now it can officially become the bull worm. So now we can say goodbye to this cool looking skulky rocky worm and say hello to everyone's favorite SpongeBob character, the bull worm. Hold up, let me go outside and show this to you. Look how big this bull worm is. He's absolutely huge and he pretty much can eat through everything. This is so scary. Like pull up an image of the actual bull worm from SpongeBob. This guy looks 10 million times scarier. Okay, now in terms of actual Minecraft upgrades, this guy's got a lot. So you'll notice I not only now have 30 hearts of HP, but I also have jump three, speed three, string three, and apparently reach six. So I can reach blocks that are super far away. But anyway, now that I am a giant worm, it's time to finish up our last tier four upgrade, which is Wiggling Whoosh. Now you might be saying, Ragai, what is Wiggling Whoosh and how do you unlock it? And well, let me tell you, because this ability is actually really cool because it's going to launch players 30 blocks into the air if they get near me. Okay, so to actually unlock the Wiggling Whoosh, there's three items we need to get, and that's a bucket of tadpole, 24 spore blossoms, and one heart of the sea. And since heart of the seas are super easy to get, let's start by grabbing one of those. Now we just got to find a shipwreck and we'll be good to go. Okay, we made it to the shipwreck. And now using our extreme block reach, let's just start breaking some holes in this thing so it's easier to get in. Okay, there's a chest. Nice. Dang it. There's definitely another chest somewhere down here. Yeah, here it is right here. And there it is, the buried treasure map. We got it. Now let's go and let's load this map up and let's find out where it leads us. Oh, the map's loading. We're getting close. It's definitely like right here somewhere. We got it. And right there's the heart of the sea we needed. And the sun's starting to set. So let's head on home with the heart of the sea in hand. Okay, next on the list of things we have to do is getting a bucket of tadpole. So let's just grab the slime balls from our chest real quick. We got the 14 slime balls from that chest. And now we just have to go make some frogs fall in love. Okay, we're at a mangrove. So now we just have to actually find some frogs, feed them the slime balls. So they'll then make tadpoles. And then we just take those tadpoles and we put them in a bucket. Okay, here we go right down here. We got two frogs with us here. Boom. They should mate. Now we should wait. The frog spawn will appear in a moment. Why are you guys not making frog spawn? Oh, there is. They hit it back here in the corner. We just have to wait now. Okay, cool. We got ourselves some tadpoles. Now I'll just grab them inside these buckets. Meaning all we need left to unlock Wiggling Whoosh is 24 spore blossoms. First things first, let's just head home. Okay, so now that we have the two buckets of tadpole, there's only one quest left to do, and that's to get 24 spore blossoms. So all we have to do is find a lush cave, and we should be able to get all the spore blossoms. Oh, we got a ravine. Still no lush caves, though. Oh, no, here it is. There are lush caves here. Look. Okay, so let's just jump down there real quick. Now we got to find some of the spore blossoms. Okay, perfect. I found one. I don't know what the best way to grab it is. Probably with this. Yeah, there we go. And perfect. We have one spore blossom and 23 to go. Okay, there we go. We officially have 24 spore blossoms. And now we can unlock Wiggling Whoosh, which should launch all players into the air 30 blocks. Now it's time for the fun stuff. All we have left is three tier five upgrades. The Sarlacc Worm, the Worm Laser, and finally the Worm Well. Now all of these things require stuff from the end. So that's where we gotta go. So let's jump down here and go into our nether portal. And now let's head to another fortress and start gathering up some blaze rods. Okay, cool. We found another fortress. Now we just gotta get over to it. And now we just gotta start getting some blaze rods. Okay, there we go. We officially have enough blaze rods, meaning now we need to go ahead to a bastion and get some ender pearls. Yes, okay, we made it. We're at the bastion. Okay, now let's just dig through the wall. Now let's just go ahead and grab ourselves the gold blocks. Okay, there we go. That's officially all the gold blocks in this bastion, which sold it out to be 29. So now let's just go back over this way to this tower and let's start trapping a bunch of piglins to start trading. Okay, perfect. Here's a little hole for them. I'll drop one and get in there. And now we're going to lure these guys all around here into the hole. And now we wait for you guys to give me some ender pearls. Okay, it looks like they're done trading. Let's kill them all off and grab our ender pearls. Okay, so in total, it looks like we got 14 ender pearls, which is uh, not a ton. But anyway, we'll take it. Let's just jump back over here. And now let's start making our way to the end to take on the dragon. Okay, so now that we're heading to the end, there's three items that we're gonna actually need in the end. First, to unlock our worm well ability, we're gonna need to get the dragon egg. Then to unlock our worm laser, we have to then stand inside the dragon breath for 10 seconds. And finally, to get the sarlacc worm, we just need some elytra. But for now, it's time for us to head to the end. So let's go ahead, let's grab our eye of ender and let's throw them off into the world. It's going back where I came from. Okay, well, I guess we're going this way. Okay, let's get on this hill and let's throw the next one. Okay, it's still going this way. Let's throw another one off. It's literally right here. Let's switch to our miner and let's just start digging down now. I see it. It's right here. There's like spikes in the way. Wait, what? Is that the portal now? I'm so confused. Oh, wait, what? There's a pit. Hold on. Wait, are the hunters here? Oh, wait, I heard a break. Oh, yeah, they're here. I hear doors. Oh, God. Hold on. Hold on, hunt. Jump around. Don't let him through the portal. We Dory, he can't. Him. He can't. It's blocked up. Oh, they blocked it off. Hold on. Oh, he's hitting me. He's hitting me. Nice. We just gotta jump into it now. We just gotta jump into it now. They're coming. They're coming. They're coming. Yes, we're in. Okay, we gotta go quick. Jump. Let's grab our water bucket. So we can get up these towers quick and start destroying them. Yep. I'm getting boat. I'm getting boat. Go up to the top. Now we're gonna just blow that one up. There we go. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. And we got dragon's breath down here. Let's go stand in that. One more second. Yes, there we go. We finished the quest. Okay, another one's dead. Well, she's gone. This is actually a good time to do this while she crashed. Okay, let's just go up here real quick. Okay, the only other thing I have to do now is get the dragon egg once the dragon dies. So let's get in there. Let's just do some good old fashioned PvP. Ready? I guess I have block reach though. It's not really fair. Okay, there we go. Perfect. That's huge. Come on. Perch, dragon. Yeah, he's perching. He's perching. This is huge. 
Oh, he tried to get me from behind. Oh, God, I can't do anything. I Don't let that hawk get me. That's huge. The hawk didn't get... Oh, and I killed it midair. Yes. Kill him. Yes, there we go. Nice. She's gone. They're all dead. They're all dead. This is huge. Oh, I can't reach the dragon, though. Oh, one's on me. Let's set him flying. Watch. Oh, I missed. Let's dig underground and get him. There we go. Nice. He's gone. The enemy's on Janet. This is my chance. This is my chance. Come on. We got him. No, the hawk is taking me. Yeah, let's go. My hawk picked him up. I had him, you dumb hawk. Don't let him kill the dragon. Here we go. Nice. We killed it. Nice, he's dead. We gotta get the egg, bro. We gotta get the egg. Okay, let's right-click that egg. Where'd it go? Dig, dig, torch, dig. We got it. Yes, we got the dragon egg. Let's go. Now we just have to get to the outer end because we have to get a light dress. We need an ender pearl, though, for that. There we go. Got the ender pearl. They're trying to block it with water. That's not a good idea. They should not have done this. No way they got me with the bird. Okay, hit him down. Nice, he's dead. <laughs> no! Go back here, put a dirt. Now take the ender pearl, throw it. We're in. Yes! Let's just keep moving quick. We need to get away from that spawn as fast as possible. It took a couple of days of searching, but we eventually found an end city with Elytra. Okay, perfect. We found an Elytra ship. So now we just have to actually get up to it. Okay, now let's jump on board. Let's break through the ground, kill this guy off, and grab the Elytra. And now let's get out of here. So we'll just put the Elytra on, glide our way down to this little portal down here, and kill an enderman. There we go. Now we're back home, and now we just have to go through the portal. But I was a little nervous at the farm would be here and they are they're literally right there they built a giant dome around the thing let's let them not see us let's just build up to the top of the tower real quick i know it's kind of hard to hide as a giant worm but let's just see oh they see me guys he's right above us we're gonna start building over ready let's put on our dirt shield watch this now they're gonna start breaking away the dirt as they shoot it but we can go down here Oh my god. He's digging down. He's digging down. Quick, in here? Yes. Oh, we got it. Yes, we're through. He already got in. We actually did it. We got out of there. We're back from the end. We did it. Let's go to sleep. Okay, so we are officially done in the end, which means there's actually only a few things left that we have to do till we are a full strength worm. For those that have been watching our 100 day videos for a while, you know that once I'm tier five, that's pretty much it. It's over. But we decided to change things. I'm going to be given one final quest that I have to complete. Otherwise, I lose the challenge. And to make it worse, I don't even know what that quest is yet. And I won't know until I'm fully tier five so we gotta get upgrading quick and leave some time in the schedule to beat whatever that quest is anyway now let's just go over everything else we're gonna need to unlock worm well we need four pottery shards and four end crystals to unlock our worm laser we need to let a pig die while i ride on it and kill all the hunters with slimy spray and finally for the sarlacc worm we need elytra 16 skulk sensors and a beacon so i think we should first become the sarlacc worm since that's gonna give us 50 total hearts so let's head to the nether into a fortress to start killing some wither skeletons okay we're at the nether fortress now we just gotta actually find some wither skeletons oh there's one there we go. Well, he didn't drop a skull, but uh, let's just keep killing him until we get some skulls. Okay, perfect. We got three wither skeleton skulls now. And now we can simply head on home to summon a wither. Okay, let's summon the wither in the middle of this field real quick, like right here. There we go. The wither's spawning now. And now we just got to fight it and, uh, well, kill it. Dead. And now I can get myself a beautiful nether star, which will allow me to make a beacon, which we need to become the Sarlacc worm. So we'll just throw together three obsidian with a bunch of glass, put the nether star in the middle, and boom, we got the beacon. And now all we have to do is get 16 skulk sensors. Now there's currently two ways in Minecraft to get skulk sensors. Option A, you look around an ancient city and open a bunch of chests. Option B, you go to an ancient city and you mine them with silk touch. And I'm gonna do the latter option just because I think it's probably gonna be easier. So let's just go ahead and let's go up to our enchanting table real quick and let's see if we can get silk touch. Ooh, efficiency four. I'm gonna rock the efficiency Ooh, risky i'm doing it it has silk touch oh i took the risk and it had silk touch i knew it okay now let's just go to sleep and tomorrow i didn't mean to fall down there but uh, as i said let's just go to sleep and then tomorrow we'll go to an ancient city and mine up some skulk sensors okay we found a skulk biome under a hill which means there's probably an ancient city nearby but we can actually grab some of the sensors right here so let's just grab this one there's one over here there's actually two back here is this an ancient city it is okay i knew it we need to find a bunch of sensors which should be everywhere in here like right here and now we just gotta grab 16 more of these things Boom! We officially have everything we need to become the Sarlacc Worm. So let's become the Sarlacc Worm. Oh my god. This thing is huge! Look at it! Look at its mouth! Okay, so now that we are a Sarlacc Worm, you'll notice we don't really fit in the house anymore. I could still click the bed and sleep in it, but I, that, that's really all I can do. So we're gonna have to basically uh, destroy this little entrance here. Okay, perfect. Uh, our base is very ugly now. We fixed it up, and now it's time to work on the next set of quests, which I feel like we should just finish Wormwell, because the combat upgrade requires me to fight the hunters, and I want to avoid them as much as possible right now so let's just work on getting the four pottery shards we need for wormwell to get those we're gonna need the brush 
item. So we just need to grab a stick, a piece of copper, and I don't think I have a feather. Let's go find a chicken and kill it for its feathers. There we go. We got some feathers. Now we'll grab our copper and get from the furnace. And when we combine them all together, we get ourselves a brush. And we can use this brush not only to dust our dirty chests, but also to get us the pottery shards we need. And to get those, we just got to go find some suspicious stand in either a desert or an ocean ruin. Let's just get looking. So uh, I didn't expect this, but the first ocean ruin I came across actually turns out to be on land. Let's see if we get a pottery shard. We actually got a pottery shard first try. Now let's do this one here. And uh, we got ourselves a wooden hoe. What about on this one? We're getting an emerald. I'll take that. Okay, cool. There's actually another warm ocean ruin down below here. We're gonna have to go look for another warm ocean ruin somewhere and hope we get some more pottery shards. Oh, is that a pottery shard? Yes, we got a second pottery shard. We got another snort pottery shard. Okay, that's huge. What about you? That is an emerald. Okay, cool. Back to what I expect to happen. Okay, let's try this one out. No way, it's a pottery shard. Let's go. Oh, it's a shelter pottery shard. And what about you over here? What are you? An emerald. Okay, now let's just go. Let's brush this. Oh my God, we got a pottery shard. No way. Okay, perfect. We officially have four pottery shards. And now we just need to get four end crystals. So let's just wiggle our way back to shore. And now we're heading to the nether to get those crystals. First things first, we need four gas tiers. And the easiest way to get those is to, well, kill a gas. Nice, we killed him. Yes, that's one down. And he didn't drop a gas tier. Great. Actually, while I'm in the nether, I just realized something. I was like, wait a minute. Killing these gas is kind of hard. I wish I could fly. And then I checked my evolution. It said the Sarlacc worm is supposed to have fly. He just huh? can't for some reason. Look at this. I'm not able to fly. Time to fix another glitch. Okay, look, I can actually fly now as of Sarlacc Worm. And you can see I'm in survival mode, meaning the mod is now fixed. And now we just need to actually get a few more gas tier. So, uh, sorry guys, but you gotta go. Now we have four gas tier. And now we just need to go ahead and get some eyes of Ender. So let's just go find a blue forest biome somewhere to kill some Endermen real quick. Okay, we found a blue forest biome. Now we just have to actually find some Endermen to kill, which, uh, I heard one. There he is. <laughs> And there we go. We got four ender pearls now. So to turn those an eye of ender, we just have to head to another fortress, which is literally one right here. So let's just get two blaze rods while we're here. Okay, there we go. We got all the blaze rods we need. And now with that, we can fly on home to make the end crystals. So now we take a bunch of glass, take the eyes of ender, put them in the middle, and put the gas tiers right below. And we get four end crystals, which is all we need to unlock Wormwell. Though you're going to notice it's already unlocked. And that's because when I got the new mod, it was glitched and already unlocked. In fact, you probably noticed the fact that it was unlocked at the bottom. So uh, I'm just going to go delete the items I got for it. But you can see I got them all right. Now, let me actually show you what this ability does. So if I hit the key, you're going to see I spawn three worms around me that suddenly blast me with lasers and well, they do this. Look at all the effects on the top of my screen, all through one ability. But I don't want to get carried away here because I still have two more quests I have to complete to become a full power worm. And the first of those quests is to ride a pig and let it die while I ride it. Okay, so if we just go in this chest here and grab a carrot. We go in this chest here and grab some string. We're going to be able to make ourselves a carrot on a stick. Now all we have to do is attach this saddle to a pig. So we'll just go ahead and put it on this pig, hop on the pig's back, and now we're going to ride this pig into that pool of lava down there. And that should count as the quest being complete. I'm sorry I have to do this pig. And there we go. He's dead. And that quest is complete. Meaning now there's literally only one more quest to do. And that's to kill all of the hunters with our acid breath in one hit. And since I know where their base is, this is actually going to be pretty easy to do. So let's start flying there and let's pay them a visit. Okay, we're officially at their base. Now we can fly. So they shouldn't see us coming in here. Oh, wait, they see me? Wait, what? They have elytra. Oh, they have hawks too. Um, I forgot. Oh God, their hawks are so fast now. Wait, what? Were they always that fast? Oh, wait, what? Oh, they're shooting fireworks at me. Okay, we need to get in there. Let's terrify them here real quick. They're going to get terrified. They're not even going to know what's happening. What I don't is know, this? bro? They don't realize that I'm OP now. Watch this. He killed himself. Okay, we're in. We're in. We're in. We're in. Nice. He's dead. Ready? Well, we got to kill the last one. We got to kill the last one. Nice. She's dead. They should all be trapped back there. Let's see if we can poison spray them. Starting to see names. We're going to hold this here. Okay, that doesn't even seem to be doing damage to them. I got an idea. Let's break it. Just keep them killed in here. I have an idea. I have an idea. Watch this. Now, if I put two city in there, they can't get out. They're all three coming. They're coming in. They're coming in. They're trapped in there. They're trapped in there. Come on. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> One down. Two down. They're all dead. We got them all. We got all the quests done. Let's go and let's unlock the last combat ability, Worm Laser. And when we do this, we should get a book in our inventory that's going to tell us what our final quest is. Did we get a book? We did. It's the final quest. Okay, we'll read that in a sec. First things first. Oh, God. We got to take on these guys. Nice, he's gone. There's one down here. Oh, there's a bird after me. Oh, the sun's starting to rise in the next day. Let's go in here. Let's go in here. Okay, there we go. Blocked him in. Now let's try our Worm Laser, shall we? Let's see what it does. Oh! I can eat through the whole world. Their beds are up here. Their beds are now gone. Oh, my God. The whole base is just getting massacred. 
There we go. Center flying. And she's dead. And now their base is destroyed. If I wanted to, I could literally come over here and just make a smiley face. Watch. And now there's a smiley face in the mountain. Anyway, let's get out of here before they come back from spawn because they're definitely going to want revenge after that one. And I noticed, by the way, they had full netherite. So they're definitely strong enough to kill me now. Okay, so that fight went pretty good, but we didn't actually get a chance to read our brand new book in our inventory. So let's go ahead. Let's read this book. It's literally called The Final Quest by the Mod Maker. And if we read it, it says the farmers have obtained a legendary flower. Destroy it to win this challenge. You will know when you see it for it glows as blue as a sapphire. So apparently to win this challenge, I have to find some blue legendary flower that apparently the farmers have, or at least they know where it is. So if I can destroy that flower, I win this challenge. So we just got to go find it. So I'm literally going to just fly around the world and look for a blue flower and hope I find something. And so I went off in search of this final flower. However, I couldn't find it. And that's because the hunters apparently took it and hid it on top of a mountain 20,000 blocks away from spawn. However, because I can fly super fast, I got to them on day 96. It, it took a bit of time, but... That flower will be mine. Oh, I see the players. Wait, there's a base. Oh, I see him. I see him. Wait, them. what? Is this where the flower is? Hold on a minute. There is. Look, there's a blue flower in there. If I destroy that, I literally will win. So my laser can't go through obsidian. So I can't blast my way through that. Hold up. Going down. Nice. One down. This one's trying to whack me. What is that? I got him. I got him. I dropped him. I dropped him. Oh, God. Wait, you're getting locked. 27 seconds left to click 25. I got to click 25 times in 20 seconds. Easy. If that timer hits zero, do I lose? I don't want to get hit by that because that could definitely cost me the game. Let me kill them. Once I get rid of them, we'll go get this flower. Wait, you're back. Are they respawning? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They've bed somewhere because one just flew out on me. If they're going to spawn here, we need to find their beds. Now we kill one of you guys so we can see. Okay, where are they coming from? Where are they coming from? Oh, there it is. I see a hole in the wall. He's going for the beds, I think. I think he's going for the beds. All three beds are gone. Yes, he's done. No replacing him for him. And now there's lava in there. Let's use all the warm abilities one last time. Okay, there we go. Point underground. Lift up. You're gone. Oh, no, he got me. Let's spin the other one. Ready? Watch this. Yeah, get spun. Now let's get him with the laser. <laughs> okay, there's the blue flower in here. So we just got to mine through this. So let's just get start getting through this obsidian. Oh, I got hit. I got hit. I got hit. I can't see. How did they get back here so soon? Okay, I blew one up. Let's see if I can get this flower. Oh, he's, he's guarding it. He's guarding it. He's guarding it. You can't get to it if I'm here, can ya? Nice. He's done. He's done. Oh, no, dude. I was so close. I need to get through a few more blocks. Okay, let's go this way. I have an idea. He doesn't realize I'm coming in from the top. Oh, he, no, he does. He realizes it. Okay, you know what? That's fine. Let him use cobblestone. I can break through that in a second. Let's just get rid of the layer of obsidian. Some parrots in here dying. Okay, we're in. We just gotta break one more obsidian. Oh, the bird! No way! The bird just took me out! There it is. There's the blue flower. No! Are you kidding me? He's got me stuck again! That's it. I need to get rid of him. I can't do anything with him in here. He's done. He's done. He's done. Break this and we got it. Come on, please. Yes! The worm wins! I broke it! Oh my god, that was so difficult! But in the end, the worm was too strong, and now we can just destroy, you know, everything in the world. But since I completed my final quest, that means the worm wins. We fully upgraded and did every challenge before day 100, meaning this video is now over. The worm wins!